Our vision. Liesl, won't you just read that vision there for us? Our vision is to build a strong church filled with passionate followers of Jesus, a church that trains and sends people, and a church that is an open door for a world that is broken and lost. You know, we, we, we haven't articulated the vision as such up to today. But if you look at that vision statement there, our vision is to build a strong church. How many of you know that the church is strong? The church needs to be strong. The church cannot be in a place of defeat. The church must be victorious in everything that we do. The community must feel that the church is the place to run to. Peter, the church is the place where they can find help. And the church is not only on a Sunday. The church is in the week at your house. At the workplace where you work, people must know who they can go to. That's the church, amen? A strong church filled with passionate followers. Come on, that is what we need to do, passionate people. A strong church full of passionate people. We are not mediocre Christians here at the open door. We are radical Christians that want to do things for God. How many of you know that the church was never anything but radical? There's no church that says, we like this, we, we're a little bit slower, we don't like to be radical in people's face, we don't like to talk about the gospel too much, make people too uncomfortable. No, 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 no. The gospel will offend wherever it goes. But the gospel won't only offend the heart, it will offend the mind to show what's in the heart. Amen? And so they might certainly re-offend sometimes, but the gospel will also show people the truth of how much Jesus loves them. It's not just an offense. We're not going out to offend people. We're going out to love people, amen. But sometimes people get offended when you love them. They say, I don't want what you have. You're crazy, man. You're Christians. Come on. Have you had that before? I don't want to go there. But when you keep on loving them, keep on sharing the gospel with them, keep on telling them about how wonderful Jesus is because he is, amen, they come eventually and they say, this is a passionate church. They're not going to stop. They didn't give up on that person. They kept on going, kept on knocking on their door, kept on inviting them to connect group, kept on inviting them to Sunday. A church that trains and sends people. I was sent from this church. Liesl was sent from this church, amen? She was sent twice. I was sent, I, I came back like a boomerang. <laughs> I mean, full, full circle, Liesl and I. There's other people that have been sent from this church, amen? We sent Pastor George on holiday now. He said he's watching online, Pastor. <laughs> Sent him away on holiday for now. Amen. Come on. We're sending people into the mission field. We're sending people into nations. I mean, we didn't send Pastor Yuan, but he, I was so humbled when he said to me, can you send me as a church to go on to my mission trip, the next one? Because there's a principle. I'm humbled by that. Really, I am. I, I thought, why would you ask me? <laughs> Amen. But it's not about me. It's about the kingdom of God. We send people, we train people. How many of you know we're going to see people trained this year? I spoke to Pastor Moira already about this. We're going to train people in grief care. How many of you know it's so important? People that have gone through losses in their life, they need help. Where are they going to find that help? In the church. That's why we need to train people. An open door for a world that is broken and lost. This is an open door. I always say the gate might be closed, but the door will always be open. Amen. The doors open for people that need help, people to come in, people that are broken, people that are in a lost world. The world needs Jesus. Amen. And that's the church that we are. Our mission statement is reach with the gospel, train through the word, and then release into God's purpose. I think we've spoken quite a bit about that, but you can't have one without the other. If you're training them, they've got to know that they can't get fat. They have to take that word and share it with someone else. Amen. And then we as leadership have to be willing to release them to where God has called them and to place them and wherever they need to be.